Nice stress reliever. Get back to the classics, man. So there are ways to send items to your pals. Let's see if I can do it from here. Um, well, I'll do it in a little bit. Let's let's keep let's keep exploring. So let's look at the ice machine. It's pretty darn cold. It is. It is. That's a wonderful observation. I'm gonna go ahead and open this door. Sleeping conventioneer. Is that what it says in the original? It doesn't. Oh, okay, so it's down there. It's down below. Okay, there's a surveillance camera in here, which, uh... Kind of odd. Right? Right. So let's see. Uh, look at camera. Hi there! Hi there! <laughs> Dork. Uh, let's open, um, can't open anything. Sweater. Phone. Let's use the phone. Can we use the phone? Probably not. Even 911 won't handle this kind of emergency. Oh, I remember. I remember. Close the door. Uh-huh. Another achievement. Pick up the keys. There we go. Let's use the TV. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1 800 Star Wars. Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> okay. Nice. That right there obviously is the diamond we're going to need to get. I mean, that's pretty simple. There's not much we can do in here. Let's look at this guy see what he says. Uh, sweater first. There's some comedy involved in some of this stuff. My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. Okay. Let's, uh, let's pick it up. I can't pick it up. That guy is lying on it. Let's look at that guy. Now there's a heavy sleep. Look, I like how he has to walk around over to this side to look at him. Uh, uh -huh. let's talk to him. Ahem. <laughs> Late, Late night. night? I'm trying to save the world from a nasty tentacle. Nice room you've got here. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna sit here and ask him stuff. Obviously, he's not gonna answer. It reminds me of a pack of cards I was very fond of. A pack of cards! Spend a lot of time with those cards. Of time with those cards. Oh, where's where's he going with this? Well, thanks. Okay, well, we're done. See you later. Open the door. Listen to the difference. It's so cool that they remastered it. Nice. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, candy machine. Let's take a look at this candy machine, right? Let's do that. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. <laughs> I wish... <sighs> You'd do a good impression of them if I had a camera. Look at the way their mouth moves. They just keep moving their mouth before they even talk sometimes. Use the candy Except machine. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. Okay, well... Let's, uh, can't do anything. See, here's another thing, by the way. I, it's this generation, man. Everything's convenient. Everything's better. Everything's easier. There's no... So look. Okay. I'm going I'm to vent just a little bit. Hold up on the D-pad. So now I know everything I can do. Actually, it's better from this angle. I know everything I can do in here. See? So you know the ice machine is important because it lights up. So if there's, like, a little detail, which some places there are... There's a button to push or something. It's going to light up. Makes it easy. Also, in the original, you have all these options. Give candy machine. My mom, when she was stuck on stuff with these kinds of games, she'd sit here and she'd click on... Um, she'd be like... Uh, 
give candy machine to plant and just start kicking or uh, clicking on random things you know use light with floor just like when we're stuck you just start figuring out random things until something works um we didn't have youtube or anything then so now we got youtube we can sit here and look now you know there's only two things because you know why in the original i was thinking of pushing candy machine when i got stuck pulling candy machine you know just stuff like that but now you know there's only two options so it kind of makes things easier. It takes a little bit of the fun away if you're one of those that kind of enjoys the, the puzzle of things. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. Listen to the music. It's so different. Oh, you thought. You thought for a second. Hmm. You thought he was going to do it. I can't even do this right. Listen to the change in music. Watch this. Be -do -do, be -do -do. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, it's so different. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just pick up this disappearing ink because I already know we need that. I'm going to talk to this dude. We can't go in here. Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? <gasps> Give me that gun! Oh, this music is way different. I'm going to the original for a second. That's too different. The stooped shoulders and long face. The gun was, the a, gun good was tip a good tip-off. I'm having a crisis here. A warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, oh. Is me. what do we do? Woe is him. Um... I like your design like ideas. Your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. I mean, <laughs> I just stole one. So, uh, my name's Bernard. Hi, What's yours? My name's Bernard. What's yours? <laughs> Dwayne. He's such a doof. Isn't that depressing? Very, very depressing. So maybe I can help. Cheer. Nice music they pipe in here, right? Eh? Right, I'm gonna say that and change to the other one. Ready? And. Nice music Go. they pipe in here, huh? It's from the <laughs> Elevated Classics series. It seems like this <laughs> one tune has been on all day. I've never <laughs> been so depressed in my life. It's probably been on for 20-something years. All right, uh, let's, never mind. let's get out of here. So he's a, like an inventor dude and he's having a rough time. So we're getting out of here. Let's open this door. And walk all the way around. There you go. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Pushing <laughs> old ladies down the stairs? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Oh, we are not getting involved in politics right now. It's too much. This is our escape, sir. Let's change the topic. Uh, how's, how's your new, new band, band doing? doing? Green tea ah. and the sushi plant? Ah. We're doing great! We've decided <laughs> to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Mm -hmm. Intoxicating three-part vocal Intoxicating harmony? Intoxicating three-part vocal harmony? Volume, man! Volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band! 
Ooh, a grimy award. Nice. Um, 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 have you got any airplay? Airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations, but we have a huge following in the club scene. I like experimental music. Show me. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, uh, okay, I'm about to have him blast this music, and I'm going to go back to the beginning first. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? And then I'll change it to see if they, how much has changed. Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate <laughs> a lot more sound that way. Yeah. That's great. Let's, uh, let's try it out. Yeah. So it sounds stupid like the stuff they're talking about, but believe it or not, it all means something. There's a lot of clues in these types of things. Got to be pretty, uh, pretty patient, pretty creative when you come up with these puzzles, let alone playing them. Playing them is also difficult. Um, so yeah, every single piece of dialogue is Why kind of the important. Litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag How chair? How does a, a good tentacle one. sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. It's getting back out of it is hard. Can you actually use Can that bowling ball? Use good that questions, bowling man. Ball? Good questions. No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. <laughs> uh, Want to help me Wanna save help the me world? Want to help save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man. Alright, so... There's a mouse hole with stuff on here. World domination plans. Let's look at them. Let's go back, though, to this. And uh -oh. look at him. This looks like it might work. I don't need to take over the world. So I know we're going to need the videotape. I'm just going to do that now. And um, that's it. I don't think we can pick up the It looks ball. too heavy for me to pick no. up. Yeah, with those little noodle arms. Look at this. We got some more Easter eggs here. We have a uh, Stormtrooper helmet up there. Speaker. Oh, on off button. Let's um, push it. Use it. Wow. This is loud. Oh, I like this one better. They made it to. Look at this. It sounds. It sounds. More electrical guitar y. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like this. Let's close the door. Ah, wrong button. Neat. Okay, well, I guess I'll just open it now. So, if you saw, it affected that, um, It affected the fake vomit. Fru Fru Emerald Stolen Circular Prince Left Behind. The Sundry Times. Let's go this way. Oh, you know what? That music's still on, so it's gonna cause a problem. Okay, so. This is, um. Man, I feel bad for giving this away. This took a while. I'm gonna show you right now. So this is what we need eventually. Anything that can be picked up in this game, 
actually has a purpose. So all these items that we have, like this, everything in here has a reason for being here. Believe it or not. I believe we can use every single item, if I remember right. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go up here, This is another puzzle that took a little bit to, to figure out. But if you know what you're doing, and you use your creativity, you can get the puzzle accomplished like this. Shloop. Um, use... Stereo. Whew. Ah, nice. Can we compliment him on his awesome soundtrack? This makes it faster, but hey. I still know what to do. Don't judge. What's Don't up, judge me. Bernard? Um, not much, actually. Still saving the world and all that. Uh huh? Oh, well, good luck then. Okay. See you later. Uh, let's go this way. We'll go back down there later. I'm gonna go through every single possible spot we can go through with Bernard. Okay, let's go in here. Let's talk to her, ladies and gentlemen. This is Edna. <laughs> Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernard? Oh my gosh! Let's see what it's like here. Oh yeah, they've definitely remastered it. Ready? Everything's just so yes, different. That's right. But it's better, in a way. Newark! You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? What did you come for this time? I'm trying to keep a tentacle I'm from conquering the world. Tentacle from conquering the world. Really, really. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the Bennett system in the state. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? <laughs> it sure is. It's got a, a Plexus 7000 motor with cobalt casing. <laughs> cobalt casing? Wow, guys. Haven't you always wanted a Plexus 7000 VCR? How many of you even know what a VCR is? I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Well, enough about your equipment. Do you think I could play with these a bit? My son calls it a VGS. <laughs> he, he keeps getting VCR, VHS all confused. He's like, wasn't that a movie that we watched on the VGS when I was little? Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom walls. Don't Ooh, touch. that's disturbing. Kind of. Uh, do you think I could play with these a bit? Could, uh, play with these a bit? I'm a gamer. Absolutely not. Oh man. All right, that's I'm it. Come back. I'm out of here. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh, I got questions. Excuse. Hi, <laughs> Bee. Ugh. She just uh, just flirted with me a bit there. How's, How's Dr. Dr. Fred doing? Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. Okay. Sleepwalking? What's wrong with sleepwalking? What do you mean, what's wrong with it? Uh, I got what's so many questions. With sleepwalking? Ordinarily, nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers a combination to the safe. I find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat. Oh, he can't office, remember it. Slamming it again. That's right. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. The subconscious mind, man. Very powerful thing. How'd he wreck the family How did finances? He wreck the family finances. Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident Shoulda. genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. 
how did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. Right, well, uh, let's go. Come back. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, I have to pee so bad. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna keep going. So, for those of you who are not familiar with the way I do things, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this on YouTube. Aren't so. you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... I can cut this part out. I will be back in just a minute. The call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing... Quick stuff, quick stuff. I am back. So, uh, for those of you who, like I said, are not familiar, I have everything, um... You can go ahead and check out my Twitter and my YouTube. I got them all. I got the hey, links on the. Do I know you? Yeah. On my Twitch I'm page. I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago. Kidnapped your hamster. <laughs> broke into your piggy bank. Uh oh. Mm, no, doesn't ring a bell. But I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So, something else I just noticed, the, the voice acting is silly, but like they have such creative voices. I guarantee you've never heard a voice like that, the way he talks. My psychotherapist is so... It's almost like Stewie from Family Guy, <laughs> but, but not. Um, pretty unique. So, I'm going to ask him a bunch of questions, and I'm going to go pick up a bunch of stuff. Try to make up for lost time, but uh, I'm going to just say this now and get it over with. If there are any videos that you wish to check out that you might have missed, because um, Twitch only keeps things for about 14 days, you can go back and look at some old videos. I have a whole archive of everything I've done on Twitch, and that will be on YouTube. Um, and then Twitter would just be to, to kind of keep track of what's... I, I tweet things about like what's coming down the pipeline, so if there's anything that you ever needed to check out as far as you know what to expect in the coming days, schedule-wise or whatever, feel free to do that, so... Get back so into this. up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. Right. Uh... Can I have it? <laughs> quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. Can I ask, please? I mean, uh... No. <laughs> no. No. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Ooh. Really? Well, you should get on Twitch. Slide again. Can he do tricks, nice this hamster? hamster? Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. So these characters. Um, that I'm talking to, Edna and then Dr. Fred, this guy here, they're all uh, from part one, which by the way, that computer that I was talking about is right there next to Bernard. Um, that ancient device. That is actually, I'm going to see if it works after this. What happened to the old hamster? I, I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like, ding, oh God, I hear it in my dreams till this day. <laughs> this guy's really checked up, huh? Uh, I'm just gonna ask that him everything, hamster I hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes but then he starts sweating and then he gets wet and then he gets cold and then he refuses to work your dad or the hamster yeah <laughs> are you making fun of me no uh -oh. i i get upset when people make fun of me i just meant 
Oh, it makes me so mad. I just <laughs> oh, want to. Oh, it makes me so. Relax. Oh. I want to relax. <laughs> I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. He needs to learn some magic tricks. I better teach him. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them. Right. How are the folks? Where Dad's in the basement doing an experiment, Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon, Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a bird bath actually, but it rhymes better your way. Um, did he say spying on the honeymoon? Is that that guy that's in the... Oh my gosh, I just realized that bed he's sleeping on in the sweater, the big fat guy down there, remember? That's like a vibrating bed, it all makes sense now. Oh. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. He's all down there sleeping and sweating on the sweater all by himself. Okay, so let's see if I can, um, I'm gonna go back to this mode. I'm going to... I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my gosh, I don't want to do it. Let me save the game, just in case. Oh, this is cool! Okay, let's try to go back. I'm gonna use the computer, guys! I'm gonna use the computer. Oh my gosh, and it has an exit, so we're safe. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, can I just show you the intro? Please say yes. Okay, Jeepers. That's new. Oh, another achievement! Games history major. Play Maniac Mansion. This is so cool. I gotta show you the intro. So each one of these guys has like a unique trait. Jeff usually... Okay. I, so the top of the screen is cut off for some reason. I can't see it. Jeff usually hangs out on the beach. Response to the name Surfer Dude. Razor, lead singer for the punk band Razor and the Scumettes. Bernard, president of the physics club and winner of the college's um, geek award. So that's Bernard. Wendy wants to be a famous novelist and is waiting for a big break. So the top line up there is actually cut in half. So I'm only seeing the bottom half of the words on the top line. I can kind of piece together what it's saying. Michael, award-winning photographer for the college newspaper. Sid, an aspiring musician trying to start his own new wave band. And then Dave... Sandy's boyfriend, organizer of the rescue ever. So I think you have to have Dave and then you can just pick two other people. So um, it'd be a game that I definitely want to go through later, but I just want to kind of give you an idea. So let's take Bernard. And I guess we take his, his girlfriend, right? Like, does that make sense? I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> 20 years ago today. Oh, is it going to be the original? Yes! Listen, listen, listen. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> uh, get it! Funky, I don't care who you are. Blast this in my car, driving down the ghetto, head banging. <laughs> I think they changed it. cool this is a video game based off of their actual story right so it's like a, it's a game in the game <laughs> it's cool so you could actually get this game on its own but but this it was included with part two which is fantastic let's see what happens if we could just like skip past this 
It's not quite the same music, though, that I remember. There's something missing from it. I don't know. Let's see if I can... Um, it's a little detour we're taking, guys. I promise I'll, I'll... So this game I never did beat, by the way. It's like a whole thing. And it looks like there's no remastered thing. So this open the bushes. Um, pull mat. No, no, no. Yes. The key under here. Yeah, I remember that much. Um, I got pretty far. I think... When I was a kid, my mother and I were playing this together. It's kind of like our bonding time. We really... It's a hard game. I don't think we ever beat it. Um, I know I didn't. It, it, it was really difficult. I feel like I just go inside now, I guess. Let's see. Use key with door. Now, this is how the Day of the Tentacle game was, right? And so you leave your friends out there, and you're supposed to bring them with you. So there's the grandfather clock. Then you see, the mansion looks very different. It's not even the same place, but according to Day of the Tentacle, it is. So we just kind of have to go with it. So this will be for another time. I just wanted to give you an idea of what this was like. But this is much more difficult. You can tell because of all of these options and and just really looking for what to pick up it's it's older it's just the whole thing if you get busted by the way because you're breaking into this house if you get busted by uh, dr fred or whoever just walking around they they you have to run away from them and hide they'll probably catch you and then you're thrown into the dungeon see just happened look at how creepy this is so now i'm in the dungeon so that's supposed to be edna so they've like exaggerated look and everything so there you go so then we have to like break out of here and and then my my mom had figured out how to get inside of this place and then there's a whole passcode and there's like a, it, it's a whole thing it's a whole thing it's really cool though so anyway, i'm gonna i'm gonna exit out i just thought i'd show you so now that I'm stuck in there, I would have to switch to another character to go help get him out. And this whole thing, like, it's it's really interesting. Um, I'm going to do some stuff here. Yep. <laughs> you saw that, right? I just picked up the hamster. Yes, sir. This is... Let's switch. If I remember correctly, I can open this window. Yep. I'm going to need that. Now watch this. Um... Oh, you just walk up to it, huh? Pick up 15 things that don't belong to you. I'm just getting achievements left and right. Um, I think we're pretty much done for now. Oh, there's the barf. So here's a dime in this gum, right? I'm going to show you how to get that. Should be able to give the keys to this dude. Oh, that's right. That's right. I could just do this. Ha ha ha. Good old Xbox controls, huh? Okay, so do this. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Remember, I got these keys from that, that guy sleeping. Hey, thanks, behind his pal. door. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. So now I can Correct. use that crowbar to it go back to the very place we got the keys from. Which would be upstairs. If you remember, the guy was sleeping in the honeymoon room. I, I assume that's what that is. 
So let's go ahead and get him out of that bed, yeah? So let's see, we got a crowbar. Oh, I just canceled it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Very anticlimactic. Okay, we are going to go upstairs. Go find that guy. I think it's this room. Yep. So remember, I closed the door and there were keys in there. In the in the lock already. So that's where we got the keys from. We're gonna we're gonna need that sweater. The thing about this game too is that you don't even know why you need the sweater. You just know you do. Like a lot of the stuff in here doesn't make any sense. You're never you. I mark my words. You're never gonna guess how to do this. There's no way. It's so ridiculous. So a lot of it's just playing around with stuff. This sweater is going on the hamster. <laughs> Obviously it's too big to put on the hamster, but you're putting it on the hamster. And there's a whole reason behind it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the coin. I mean the gum, sorry. <laughs> so gross. Okay, I did that on accident, but what just happened was we had that dime that we just got with the crowbar, right? But it was stuck in the gum. You have to use that dime on this machine right here. So we have two dimes. The thing is, <laughs> one dime, you'll see, there's one dime. Okay, we need to do that again. And obviously, when you're playing this through the first time, you're like, oh my gosh, we'll use the other dime, but it's stuck in the gum. The only way to get it out is if you accidentally click on use gum, he chews on it, he chews on some used gum, and pulls the dime out. So there you have it. Solution to our problem. Dime number two. And there it is. Let's pick her up, huh? Ew, it's soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to look at this guy. What happens if we take a look? Now there's a heavy sleeper. There is a heavy sleeper. We're going to leave. We're going to leave. Okie dokie. I'm thinking here. I th think pretty much. Oh, no. There's one more thing I got to do. Tentacle Rescues returns Emerald. Mayor congratulates Purple Hero. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So there's this one thing I got to do in here. Um, I kind of want to know what happens if I do this anywhere else, but let's try it. So there's an item I have here. Invisible ink, right? Disappearing ink. Disappearing ink. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't know what you're staring at back there, but cut it out. <laughs> okay. She doesn't care. Um anyway, we can use this anywhere. But the thing is, we need to use it with him. Um, let's do it. How do I do it? Oh. Hey, be careful. You almost hit my stamps. That's exactly what we need to do. So it takes a while to figure that out, but I'm gonna go ahead and save us the time and do it right now. Uh oh. Hey, you uh oh. See a neat trick? Uh oh. Sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's neat, huh? Uh. My Pony Express stamp. You'll ruin my Pony Express stamp. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of uh -oh. my room. 
Jeez, what a look, you gotta throw the book at me. He should really try to find some outlet for those. <laughs> Negative feelings. So, we're gonna go ahead and pick up these items. Um, now that we have them, let's go back in and say sorry. Get out he doesn't realize here. that it's disappearing ink. Let's talk to him. You think he's in a talking mood? Hi, Ed. Don't push it, man. Don't make me <laughs> do something I'll regret. Don't push it, man. Let's Hi, push Ed. it. Don't push it, man. Don't Aww, make man. me do something I'll regret. Let's, let's That's push exactly it. what I don't want to do. Let's nah, pull him. I better not. Let's Boy, look at him. He's been working out since the last time I saw him. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and you know actually what I just realized? Those two can be brothers. Think about it. They can almost be brothers. We're gonna go ahead and give him back his little album. Um Where is it? Here it is. All better. Hey. You fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. I just can't help myself. When I go back and forth between the original and the remastered, it's just so amazing. This is what I played when I was little! Look at all the pixels! Look at his arm hair, and then look at it now. Oh. Oh, magnifique. Let's talk to him. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace I have be to with say? you. Peace. From now on, guys, when my, my outro for this game is going to be Peace be with you. I'm going to do it. So as we come to a close, about, I don't know, 17 minutes left, 18 minutes. I'll tell you about my grandfather. Yeah, I'm done here. So let's uh, switch to Hoagie. All right. So my grandfather is the one who introduced this game to us. He wasn't, I guess you could call him a gamer. He was uh, a PC gamer, you know, he played like some, some games here and there, like um, this was one of them. He played this really cool game that I want to find. It's, you're like on a magic carpet. Um, you're, you're, oh, it was so cool. Cause you can like explore, it was almost open world. And for back then, that's crazy. And you had like different spells and you're shooting monsters and stuff and it was awesome. Um, I'm definitely going to play that someday. I got to find it though. I don't even know what it's called. Also, he played like Star Wars TIE Fighter games and stuff, X-Wing and just all kinds of cool little things. Um, they were not very good. They're so old, but it, it would be my stepfather's father. And my stepfather basically raised me. So that's my dad. Um, and this guy. Look at this. George Washington? That's probably what this is referring to. So let's cheat here. Watch this. See? Only three things to do. So, obviously, we should pull the cord. Pull Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Excuse Washington. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. So that's the maid. Doing what she does. Oh, there's a maid's cart. What's this? Soap. I know we need the soap. Oh ha! Get away from that. It's a good thing I finished in there quickly. Now scram. They just don't make founding fathers like they used to. <laughs> so she kicked me out because I was trying to steal the soap.
I'll talk about my grandfather sporadically as I as I go about this, but um He was such a cool dude. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. <laughs> Let's do it. I've got another design change for I've the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Uh, could it have a chrome-plated bald eagle robot on it? Hey, where's where's the one? There it is. We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. <laughs> we need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. <laughs> Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. <laughs> Can you imagine? Merka! <laughs> Let's get out of here. Uh, we're gonna open this door. Oop. This. Open door. Oop. Let's see. I know we're gonna need this. So my grandfather... I uh, had a rough life when it comes to health. It was very bad. Grody, man. I don't go through Grody, people's man. underwear. Hey, plants! I know we need those. I don't understand Whoop. that technical stuff. Oh, maybe not. I don't understand that technical nope. stuff. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. Can I use the bed? Nah, there's printer's ink on the sheets. Alright. I sure that's printer ink? Give me his blood. Look at this horse! <laughs> um, uh, let's go in here. We're gonna open the door. Go inside. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure we you that don't we are both know. real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? <laughs> I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off I'm now? I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented oh. two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. This it is my butt crack, anyway. man. Look, yeah. don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. <laughs> Dang. I'm no marble delivery man, <laughs> but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing, where you're from. Where exactly uh -huh. did you come from? The future. Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future. I'm from the future. Look out. Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. <laughs> Please go away. Okay. We artists are <laughs> no. very sensitive to your kind of people. 
Alright, I'll tell you what. What, what kind, kind of people? Of people? Big dumb people. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Alright. Too late. So this if you don't recognize it, this is the uh statue that is upstairs. Where Edna is. Window was it? Was it this window? Yep. Right here. <laughs> this one right here. There it is. If we look at it. Looks awful Oops. heavy. It looks awful heavy. No! That's not what I said. Creepy. Let's go back. <clears throat> go upstairs. Boop, 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 boop. I know we're going to need the red paint, so let's just pick that up. This little cat playing with a little mouse. That little cat playing with a little mouse. Tell me about your life. Let's look at the cat. What a pretty pussy cat. Oh, uh, let me grab. I know we need the mouse. Uh, yeah. Yo, I. Yo, I. So my grandfather was working. I don't want to get details wrong, so I don't want to say where he was working for. I think it was Bart. Doesn't matter. Point is, it was a long time ago. Ugh, that's where the sound comes in. Oh, let's do it like this. See, that's that cheating thing again. Let's do it again. Hang on. Let's go back up. Look at him come through the fireplace. There it is. Go back in. <laughs> Alright, so. We'll get everything we need. Um, and so he hurt himself. He got injured. And. Switch to this. Pick this up. And he had to get on uh, disability. He, he. The rest of his life, he had a lot of problems. With his back and his neck. He ended up having metal plates in his neck. He had, uh... We need that. We need the oil. No, that's not oil. I think it's in here. Um... My grandfather... Had so... I know I picked that up. Don't I? Huh. Maybe not. I could have sworn... Oh, I don't know about this. I don't know. Yeah, look at this. This has been changed. This wasn't in the original. Look down there. That looks painful. <laughs> oh, that was even more painful. And so my grandfather... Um, let's go out to the Chronotron, actually. We're going to need that. He, he always had all kinds of problems, and, uh, I mean, like, check this out. Even when he got surgery one time to fix his back, I can't even tell you how many times he's had back surgery. It was, it was nuts. But he, uh, he ended up having a fungus growing on his spine. Did a lot, and then they had to go back in and clean that out. It was a whole mess. I remember towards the end of his life, he, he passed away. Um, he, he had, had a really rough morning because when he woke up from lying, he was lying there 
his his uh he was in serious pain. When he went to the hospital, they basically told him his spine, his vertebrae, some of it, started to just disintegrate because he was just covered. Like he, when they pulled the bag of screws and bolts and nuts out, this is not an exaggeration. I think we have a picture of it somewhere. He had uh, I've seen it. He, it was a it was a sandwich bag, like a lunch bag. You know, you, you get a Ziploc sandwich bag or whatever, put your sandwich in it. It was like that, full of bolts, nuts, and screws. It was incredible how much he had in his back. Um, so he had all kinds of issues. I'm gonna go like this. And I believe I could send items back and forth. So I'm gonna need to do some of that right now. I need to give this letter to Bruno. No, I don't. Do I? I don't remember. Hmm. I need to give this. Dang it! I don't remember anything! Okay, hang on a second. Let's see. I think I'm actually. I've got everything I need, so I need Bernard to send over stuff to him. Help wanted. I'll I know just it goes run to, to him. Go for it. There's something in the chronogon. Okay. I know he's gonna need the textbook. I'll use the he's gonna need the flyer. He's gonna need. That's it. it. Oh, he's gonna need a stamp. Pony Express stamp. Okay, I think we're good. You got all the items? Yep. Nope. We have to pick up the stuff from the Chrono John. There's nothing to get. Oh, there's not? Ooh, we already got it. Okay, let's go back. So I'll use the next episode to tell you more about my grandfather. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! All mine! If only we had some nasty weather! I just realized, we need to wash this carriage, right? But they use the wind. They need the wind. Um, or they put the wind in here to make it look like it's, you know, storms coming. Which is exactly what's going to happen with when you use the carriage. There's a couple things I'm starting to forget. Uh, let's see. I need to go in here and... No, 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 no. I remember. Well, I need to go in there too, but I'm going to go in here. I need to... Ooh! I need that too. Let's pick up the hammer. Just looks like a regular hammer to me, but then I... Hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. I'm left-handed. What's this? Mm, help wanted, moronic drone, mm, assist genius, yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around, and you look dumb enough. Uh. So pick up your lab coat and get to work. Pick up my lab coat. Yeah. So I kind of did that a little out of order, I apologize. I didn't mean to, but. 
you talk to him long enough and then you're like you realize that you need this lab coat i'm not going to say for what yet um but the lab coat comes in handy and and he won't let you have it he said well i only give that to employees or something like that so you're that's when you when you get that light bulb moment oh <gasps> the help wanted sign and there it is okay so i think we're good for now I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. This is a perfect place to stop. Actually, let's get one more thing. Let's get one more thing for fun. i got to get that soap. But the only way to get the soap is if we pull this cord. Which... Wait, 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 wait. No, I need to... So she needs to take... She cleaned it too fast, right? So I need to mess up the bed. There it is. And that's all it takes. Just that extra time to make the bed. Whee! <laughs> I pushed the cord by accident. We pull it. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse, Excuse me, Mr. Me, Washington. Mr. Washington. Boy, what a okay, mess. let me out. Let me out! Okay, now pick up uh, soap. Pick up soap. Whoop. Can I push the cart? No way, I'd be busted for sure. All right, I think I think we're good. All right, I'm going to go back downstairs. And that should do it. I thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. Probably not. <laughs> um it's definitely more of a nostalgia thing for me. Uh but this has been a blast. I'm going to be back again to play the second half of this. And you can catch that here. I'm looking at my schedule tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow again, same time. Um, I don't think I'll be able to actually beat this game at the rate I'm going. Might have to be a three-part thing. I was going to do it in two, but... Um, so, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, you can check out my Twitter page. You can check out YouTube. I have all the links there in my main Twitch page. YouTube's just for the archive. Anything you might have missed in the past, I've played a good handful of games by now just getting started though so my goal to play every game ever known to man at least try to tell you more about my granddaddy so there's, there's a whole point to that story thank you so much and I will see you again peace be with you